Um, and it was a very powerful, clairvoyant uh, conversation on the, the, the ramifications of our current criminal justice system and our parole system here in New York State. And the less is more legislation that is being uh, introduced on behalf uh, of this population in our communities uh, it has gained a lot of support, a lot of support. And, you know, being there and having the opportunity to hear the assemblymen and those uh, panelists, such as Andre Ward from the Fortune Society, uh, share on this conversation and the work that they're doing uh, was just, it, it was just so enlightening and inspiring uh, to me because most of you guys know I'm also uh, a formerly incarcerated citizen. I know what it's like to be on uh, probation and parole. I know what it's like uh, to find yourselves in those precarious situations, uh, particularly uh, in light of the complexities of our parole system. I'm trying to say that in a way so that you guys will be able to grasp um, and the importance. Let, let's get to that part first. The importance of this legislation is this. Here in New York State, we have over 35,000 people who are under uh, community supervision. Now, I also want you to know um, of that 35,000, nearly four out of 10 are sent back on technical violations. Now, 